Minister of Information and Communication, Mohamed Rahman Sare, and the current President Bill government, spoke to journalists in Bo about achievements and challenges so far this past four years. Um, a year just ended, 2022. Um, during that period, they would all work collaboratively on many projects. Uh, COVID been in IR, um, we've been relying on the media and civil society, indeed, for help we raise awareness amongst the population about the dangers of COVID and how to prevent it. The media been stand ready, able, and then support the government for law able for resolve that problem. We also don't get um, the challenges, the global, the twin global challenges of COVID and the Russia-Ukraine war. The media don't they support we for let them make citizens they understand say these challenges what this country go through now a global problem, not a salo no more. And they also don't support we for highlight key achievements of this administration. So at the end of the year or the year, now that make I decide to look. La sit down with them, the media. Um, let we get a family conversation over drinks, you know, and I'm glad to say it's been very well attended and it come also very well. Mm -hmm. So now the same gathering yesterday will be agree an agenda going forward, particularly as we approach critical elections then this year. So okay, in, in uh, barely uh, six months uh, to elections now, and um, on a quest now for uh, just a no run up. Mm -hmm. So what are some of plans with regards to it? Well, so, I mean, Sarah Liu and I, we all understand, say, we inherit an economy we been there in austerity by the pronouncements of the previous administration themselves. Good thing you used to call it Komato. <laughs> yes, we, we inherit an economy mm. we been there on life support machine. Um, if we have been patient, the intensive care unit have been there. Um, President Bill put together a fine economic management team. They may not able to get them from coma. Um, if not patient safe, they recover now. They in recovery mode. Um, now then they make, for example, you see, say, we may not be able to meet all domestic commitments there in terms of salaries there, recurrent expenditure there. Um, we don't be able to meet that one there as a government. And this is not a thing we take for granted around the world. Um, just a few weeks ago, um, the Liberian, the BBC focus on Africa, the Liberian Justice Minister, the Liberian Chief Justice, he issued a subpoena for the Minister of Finance in Liberia. So let, let it appear before them, because they not don't pay them for the last three months. I sure say we don't be four months now. Now Salon I we don't ensure say we don't pay all public sector workers then, regularly and on time. We know they in no salary areas. This is a huge achievement for a government who inherits an economy. We've been there on life support. Um, we've been the only able to pay salaries, um, which cost the bank lending. So we don't cross that all the way. In the midst of the same thing, this same government don't introduce an ambitious free quality education where they spend 22% of a budget on. That is no main fit. And you find out, say, not to the education no more they do. With the, with the supply core textbooks, with the exercise books, um, with the provide school feeding now almost all the 14 districts, not to, to every school, to identify schools there. Um, with the pay all public examination fees now for 3.1 million people with the go school. Right. Government they pay school fees for it. That is huge in an austerity period in in, in the global um, late challenging context. Now for this make the whole world respect President Bill and the reforms that we don't make in this sector. During the last UN General Assembly, um, the UN Secretary General, President Gut um, Secretary General Guterres, say of all the presidents that are in the world, now in President Bill for who chair that. That means the world don't recognize the great things that we do in terms of education, in terms of uplifting with people there, in terms of empowering the population. Yeah? So that's our one. Um, you also talk about um, this same economy during COVID, we will make sure, say, um, while other countries they may they queue up for basic essential commodities, including the staple food rice, we will watch, we will watch social media. Salon, uh, um, we'll get the president, we'll get the gift of uh, far sight, foresight. Uh, we don't say, look, with COVID, supply chain disruptions then go there. Ship self, ship they're not going to car no more. 
sitting and over the cap. So we've been put at the disposal of commercial at, at the commercial banks then um, fifty million dollars for their importers and go able to get access to that money at a single interest, single digit interest rate for able to bring in essential commodities. Thank you.